see if I succeed, to see if I believe, they're looking up to me, they want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me, they want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me, they want the best of me All right, what's up, guys? It's me, your boy, Jay Dizzle for Shizzle, back in the hizzle. Hope you guys are doing well. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Happy New Year, everybody. Man, it's 2023, and if you're watching this, man, you made it to 2023, God has truly blessed you because a lot of people we know didn't make it out of 2022. Um, so, but we here, man. We feeling blessed. Things are going great now for me. Um, if you watch my last video uh, on the last series, the Level Up uh, Season 2 series, uh, where I was talking about quitting prep, just a host of problems, man, a host of problems that kept me from, from being on the grind and being on the purpose, man. Uh, as I, My tagline in that, in that series was, you know, er, late nights, early mornings, the grind never stops, but the grind had to stop, guys, and sometimes it, it's okay to take a step back, man, readjust, reevaluate, regroup come back to you know your purpose uh, at a later date man it's okay you know sometimes you gotta do that man it's, it's totally fine uh, but now things are going well for me uh, my mom is recovering very well uh, she's basically back at 100% so you know feeling good about that um, and she's able to help me again with taking my daughter to and from school you know to her cheerleading practices things like that while I you know go make that bacon um, bacon sounds good right about now too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but, uh, so anyway, man, just a lot of things going on. I'm not really going to get into it in this video. I just wanted to, uh, just share the last, uh, four weeks of prep with you as far as my weigh-ins and things like that. Uh, been consistent and guys, this is what it's all about because as you can see, I'm going to throw up the, um, my, my week one pictures to week uh, five right now um, show you the progress man it's not always reflected on the scale so I don't want you guys that are on your you know starting your fitness journeys and things like that um, to focus so much on the scale I myself am a scale junkie so I know what it's like man when you're not seeing that number go down you feel like you're not making progress but guys if you if you look at the pictures from week one till now man it's it's a lot of progress that i've made now i'm only down two pounds according to the scale okay um but I, as you can see man my, my clothes are fitting starting to fit looser now um my waist is actually down about two two to three inches now so it's not always reflected on the scale guys so Make sure that you're taking those progress pictures every week. I would suggest to take them every week rather than every day. Like like Christian Guzman when he's on his summer shredding videos and stuff, he he takes a he takes his weight every every morning or whatever. You know, for me, a scale junkie, that would really mess with my mind because a lot of things go into your weight, guys. It's water, it's uh, fat, and it's muscle. So a lot of things you know contribute to your weight. Okay. So think fat loss, not weight loss, okay? So um, so right now, guys, just wanna just give you a quick, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're here in 2023. Next week on the 9th starts the Pro Physique Transformation Challenge for the new year, 12, new 12 week challenge. I'm already signed up for it. Can't wait to start that. That's gonna put me about 12 weeks. Uh, well, that's a 12 week uh, challenge which I'm hoping to, you know, make some great improvements, bring home that that first place prize. I think it's like 25 G's, something like that. Um, but that's going to take me till about four weeks out from the OCB Buckeye Natural, which is the show I'm prepping for on May 27th. Um, 20 weeks out right now, guys, man. So, you know, I'm doing my, I'm starting my two a days. Um, so a couple things, man, I'm starting my two a days. Um, I... I just got um, my, let me show you here. I showed this before, but just in case you're new here, my bottled waters. This is Clover Valley, black cherry, sparkling water. 
guys, this, this, this is a game changer right here. So also if you're on a prep or you're, um, you know, starting a fitness journey or you're starting a challenge or something like this to help keep your water intake up, these sparkling waters, man, that helps keep your water intake up and it's, 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 it's sparkling water. So, you know, it's got that carbonation. So it makes you feel like you're drinking a soda because for me, for me, guys, I always like to like, I am a soda junkie. I'm a juice junkie, things like that. And I don't keep my water intake up, but that's also going to help you with your weight loss too, guys, man, your body's 70% water. So going to help flush out those toxins and all that bad stuff and, and keep you hydrated as well. So, um, I like to drink those with my meals. And then I also have a, um, like a gallon jug or whatever that, you know, I use to drink my water. So, I, so I want to, so I'm on my two a days, uh, with training. Um, I got, I got to get my water intake up. You know, I want to get a gallon in every day. Um, what else? I got to focus on my abs. My abs and my chest are my biggest, weakest areas. I'm also focusing on upper body, lower body cardio only split uh, rather than individual muscle groups like chest, arms, back, things like that. Because what I find is that I miss a lot of days, you know, when things start getting hectic with work and taking my daughter here and there and things like that. So, um, so I got my plan. Um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm start. I, I'm cleaning a new gym. So I hope, hopefully I can get a couple, um, workouts film for you guys in that new facility. It's really dope. It's out in Kent state, uh, university. Well, it's in Kent, Ohio, which is home of the Kent state university. It's really, really dope. It's, it's almost like a huge, like hotel type of gym, man, that you would see like out in Vegas or something. It's really, really dope. Um, so hopefully I can get a couple of workouts filmed there for you guys. But feeling really good, man. Um, you know, my mental mind is good right now. And, and that was that's part of it, too, guys. It's more of a mental game than a physical one, man. So just stay on your grind, man. When things start getting tough, man, take a step back, you know, reevaluate, readjust, regroup, and then come back to it, you know, the next day, man. Don't give up, guys. You know, it's okay to take a step back. Just don't give up, okay? You only fail if you totally give up, all right? Sometimes you sometimes you got to. Sometimes you got to throw in the towel. But if you come back to it at a later date, man, you haven't failed, all right? So that's all I got for you guys, man. Just wanted to give you a quick check-in. Um, going to be doing an upper body workout today. Maybe I can get that film for you guys, man, and show you some some different things. I got two. I got. That's what, also one of the things I wanted to tell you too. Like I got two different splits. So like so so today I'm doing a heavy upper body day, um, and then the next time I do it, it's going to be what I call my accessory day or light day. Um, just I change up the exercises. I change up the reps. You know, I change up the tempo. Like I change up the, the rest periods, things like that. All of that factors in, guys. You can't do the same thing every time, man. Like I see these guys that come in week in and week out, year in and year out. They do the same thing. They look the same. They're, they're not serious about the gains, man. And I know everybody doesn't want to be a bodybuilder. But guys, the gym is your personal time, man. A lot of us don't have a lot of time. That's our only time to get it in you know is when when you get there if you're going to drag yourself to the gym have a plan have it written out have it laid out and some people might be using an app or things like that but it's just like when i see them and they're just sitting there and it looks like they're on tiktok or they're instagramming or facebooking or they're texting and all of that stuff it's like guys come on man you know I, i'm only focused on me but it's like you can catch people out the peripherals out the you know the the side view of your <laughs> of your eyes so you know, man, really get in there and get after it, guys, man. Everybody doesn't want to be a bodybuilder, but even if you're serious about your health, man, just don't sit there and, you know, be on your phone the whole time, man. Really have a plan, lay it out and execute it every day. All right, man. So um, the last thing that I'm going to be focusing on, too, is my protein intake as well. Um, got to get got to got to keep that for that protein up, guys, man. I'm te you know, you're tearing down the muscles in the gym. You don't grow in the gym. You grow out of the gym, guys, when you recover. And also, I got to get on my massages again, too, to help with that recovery, that inflammation and things like that. So got my plan laid out, man. And hopefully um, I got some dope, some dope, some dope uh, board shorts that I had custom made from Chula Wear, man. I cannot wait to show you guys those in May and uh to represent ohio man so um that's all i got for you guys man happy new year i love you 
There's nothing you can do about that, baby. Your boy, Jay Dizzle. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let's make 2023 a great year, guys. Let's go. It's time to give you the best of me.